in brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Especially white supremacists and racists, or just white heterosexual males. Well, hello there, fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to yet another video. And this one is about a complete and utter disaster. I've said so, I have been saying that for a long time. No, I am not going to watch the Green Lantern TV show. Because, of course, it is going to be a woke shit show about socio-political bullcrap instead of, well, actual superheroes based on a comic book that has been around for decades. So, it is not going to be primarily a sci-fi fairy tale TV show so that people can escape reality for a bit and enjoy a bit of action. A bit of TV action for a bit. But, so they can be once again and once more and over and over again exposed to SJW leftist propaganda, feminist propaganda, and all the things that honestly are making a lot of people very tired, because it's everywhere, and you can't escape it. You just can't escape it. Whether you are reading a comic book, watching a film that's made today, in 2020, you can't escape the harsh reality of the fact that the feminist, matriarchal world, leftist-oriented society wants to completely annihilate and destroy the white heterosexual male. And you can see it in all the spheres of culture and society. But this channel is mainly focused on comic books and comic book related things, so let's just read this thing and flip through it. So, it is, of course, uh, concerned with the upcoming HBO Green Lantern TV show, and this article says, Alleged leaks reveal Guy Gardner, Alan Scott, a new black female to lead woke Green Lantern HBO Max series. A new rumor claims that not only will HBO Max's upcoming Green Lantern series feature a new ring slinger as one of the three series leads alongside classic lanterns Alan Scott and Guy Gardner, but that the series will also place a heavy emphasis on woke storytelling. So, as I said once more and once again, the quality of the story is not important anymore. The fact that the characters should be intriguing and interesting is not important anymore. What is important anymore, uh, sorry, but what is important on the other hand is the socio-political leftist feminist woke agenda. The first rumor surrounding Green Lantern's casting was published on November the 19th when the Illuminati announced that they had uncovered exclusive info about the characters and direction of the upcoming Green Lantern HBO Max series, specifically alleged characters' details regarding the series' leads, Lanterns Alan Scott, Guy Gardner, and the character Bree Jartar. So, I've already ma made a video about the fact that Alan Scott is going to be in the TV show and it's going to be his alternate or alternative um, reality self, which is gay, of course. So, uh, the article says a bit more about that. This particular awesome lantern is the comic book version of Guy Gardner, who is one of my favorite Green Lanterns, actually, because he is um, a true 80s and 90s hero, a really masculine man, a masculine hero, a role model for every little boy who wants to read a comic book. And because he is such a man, they will of course demonize him in the TV show, as the article continues to explain. Um, my computer is very naughty, I'm sorry. Guys, uh, description reveals he is the testosterone fuel white male foil to the... And actually, here's the full description, right? So this is the description of Guy Gardner in the TV show. Guy Gardner, white male, 30s. A hulking mass of masculinity as rendered in the comics. Guy is a personification of the hyper-patriotism found in the 1980s that birthed Hulk Hogan and Rambo. However, Guy is still likable. 
Okay, so this is like a wonder. He is a masculine hero, but he is still likable anyway. He might act foolish, but he is not a fool. Guy loves his daughter and wife with all of his heart. Part, a hard parting, fast driving, hot tempered heart, but like many alpha males, there is a deep undercurrent of pain driving in it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, because all masculine men suffer. Actually, in, in fact, we are all. We are all suffering on the inside because we are males. We are masculine males. We are not we are not woke, we are not cucks, we are not gays, we are not transgender, trans, blah 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 blah. So we must automatically suffer. Well fuck you! What do you say about that? So, Alan Scott in the upcoming TV show and his description. Alan Scott, white male, twenty sorry, I, I need to use some, some sort of retarded voice. Alan Scott, white male, 28 years old. From the outside, Alan is the model of early 1940s, the image of a J man. Alan is handsome, clean-shaven, and well-dressed without a hair out of place. He has spent his young life trying to personify truth, justice, and the American way. He is already a, a household name in LA and is seen as hero thanks to positive press coverage. However, for all Alan's honesty, there is one huge lie that follows him. He is a gay man, a fact that in his era could cost him his job or even his life. <laughs> so this is this is the focus of this sci-fi TV show that was based on a fucking comic book that was originally made for children, for little boys, as a for as a as a form of entertainment and escapism and fun. So why would you drag this bullshit into this? Why would you demonize a hero in this bullshit? Tell me. And then there is then there is the HBO Max original creation, Brie Jarta, Guy Gardner's half human, half alien Lenten partner who, according to her leaked character breakdown, works hard to ignore her human side, was raised in an enlightened extraterrestrial society, and is a true believer in the cause. Just as they play up Alan Scott's orientation, the series will do the same with Brie Jarta and her skin color. And there we go again! As the half-human and half-alien, as previously reported, will disguise herself as a woman of color while on Earth. Brie Jarta and her description. Black female, 30s. Sorry. Black female, 30s. Few lanterns take their commitment to the core and its purpose more seriously than Brie. Brie is half human, and it's the half she worked hard to forget. Brie has an alien mother and a human father, and I'm sure he was an abusive bastard, was he, right? However, she was raised on a more enlightened planet with an advanced society. Brie outworked her peers and earned her ring only to find herself partnered with Guy Gardner. Ugh! Oh, <laughs> you know what? You know what, you fucking wackos? You know what, you leftist feminist idiots? Go to hell. Go to hell. I'm going to proceed and read my good comic books. My Green Lantern from the 1990s and more importantly, my Green Lantern from the early 2000s written by Jeff Johns and illustrated by such awesome talent as... Ivan Rice and Ethan Van Skyver. So buggy you and um I think you are, you have lost thousands of potential viewers with this bullcrap with once again dragging your leftist feminist agendas your destruction of society and of culture into something that had a great potential of being great. So what do you think my friends do you share my opinion? Oh, does your opinion differ in any way? Sorry, I'm looking at Hal Jordan and I'm feeling extremely sorry for him and myself and every white heterosexual male in the world. 
All right, so do not forget to dislike this video if you don't like it, or like this video if you like it, and subscribe to this unimportant channel if you haven't done so already. And of course, once again, let me know in the comments down below what you think. That will be all from me. See you soon, and goodbye!